Hey everybody, Gary with Base Camp Trading. Let's take a look at an aspect of trading that many new traders don't even think about, and that's our pre-market analysis. This is crude oil futures on a 240 minute chart. You can see we're in an uptrend. We're making higher highs, higher lows. Five is above the 13. Five and 13 are above the 50. The 50 is above the 200. Momentum is bullish. We're in an uptrend. This was the London session this morning, right in here. And you see crude pushed up and then had a little pullback here, left this bottoming tail, set up a doji and a bull flag. So now we have a 240 minute bull flag. The next bar opens, makes a little push to the downside, leaves that bottoming tail. And then the entire body of this bar is all buying this is a really bullish trigger bar and this is the bar that actually triggers the bull flag now the trigger actually occurred in the u.s session because you gotta remember these are four hour bars but the trigger was actually a really bullish trigger you know a little bottoming tail and then the entire body open right there and just pushed higher so the whole body was all buying really strong bullish bar actually went into significantly overvalued, but it was a really strong bullish bar. I mean, it just closed right at the top and the next bar even pushed higher. Even though we were significantly overvalued, we actually ended up pushing a little higher. Crude was really strong at this point. So we have a bullish 240 minute chart. And as we're coming into the market, because again, this bar hasn't formed yet, it's forming, but it's not done yet. So as we're coming into our US trading session, we know that we ha are in an uptrend on our 240 minute chart, and we have a pending bull flag that might trigger. So let's drill down a little more and we'll take a look at our 30 minute chart. And you can see 30 minute chart, you know, also in an uptrend, higher highs, higher lows, five above 13, above 21, above the 50, above 200. But we're in a channel on a 30 minute chart. During the London session, we got a little sideways here. And you can see that we started pivoting between this pivot high right here, which was 43.74, and this pivot low right here, which was 43.30. And you can see we're pivoting inside of this high and this low. So this is our compression channel. So now we have a bullish 240 minute chart we have a 30 minute chart that's in compression but with a bullish lean to it and we have a 240 minute bull flag pending and we know that that bull flag is actually going to trigger at um, 4370 the top of our channel is actually 4374 the bull flag is going to trigger at 4370 so now we know Okay, we're coming into the U.S. session. We have a bullish 240-minute chart, and we have a 30-minute chart that's in compression. Well, right in here is where the uh, U.S. ghost pit opened in crude, and that's from 8.30 to 9 o'clock. And this is where that opened. And you can see that we're in compression, but we break out with a nice strong bullish move. You have this bar opens at the bottom, goes right up to the channel line, stops, but the whole body's buying. And then the breakout bar, which is the important one, opens right here at the bottom, pushes through, breaks out of compression, and closes outside of compression. So now, if we're taking the break of compression, it's the breakout that we're actually looking for. We don't have to wait for this bar to close, obviously. I mean, this bar could have closed way up here. We would move the mo we would have missed the move. So we're taking the breakout, but if this bar had pushed up and then left a big topping tail and closed back underneath the line, that's a big, big red flag. We're probably going to consider exiting our position at that time. But instead, we got the breakout and a nice strong bullish close. So this confirms that this is a pretty good breakout. And at the same time that we're triggering this breakout, we're also triggering that 240 minute bull flag. So now we're in confluence. We have a 240 minute signal triggering and we have a breakout on a 30 minute 
chart triggering. So now we're in confluence and we know that when we're in confluence with our higher time frame charts, those are the times that we have a stronger possibility of a larger move. And we end up getting a pretty large move in crude off of that breakout right there. This is what it looked like on the Renko chart, because again, Renko chart is one of our primary trading charts. And this was where we had the overnight high that led to the compression. Because now this is a Renko chart from here to here. That's about six and a half hours worth of trading right here, because these bars only form as price moves. And so you could see we were in compression during that period of time. We had a pivot high right here. We had the pivot low, and you can see we're pivoting inside. So we're inside compression on our Renko chart, which coincides with the compression on our 30 minute chart. However, this chart is still in a bullish mode also. You can see we're making higher highs, higher lows. Came in here, formed a little compression. We didn't change the trend because we didn't make a lower low. So we're in compression in an uptrend, but in compression inside the uptrend. You see momentum kind of went sideways. See how we're kind of chopping sideways in momentum. And then as we're triggering the breakout, we're getting bullish momentum. We're getting a breakout in momentum. We're triggering the 240 minute bull flag and we're triggering the 30 minute break of compression. And we get a nice push to the upside on this. Now your entry would have been the break of the compression high, or if you're a little more aggressive, you could anticipate, you know, you had, uh, you're in an uptrend, you get a wick off the 18, and that wick off the 18 has potential to break us out. So, so you could have either taken the slightly earlier entry at 43.72, or the actual break of compression, which was at 43.74. Your entry probably would have been 43.75. And again, get a nice strong push up. Trender Pro starts showing extended. Trender Pro 2.0 is coloring our bars. And we're sh showing as we start turning lime green that we're getting extended. We get this many bars in a row. We're usually going to exit on the first reversal bar. That first reversal bar closed at 44.76. You're in at 43.75. So you had the potential to make at least a thousand dollars. I mean, you could have even made more, you know, depending on how you end up managing your trade. I mean, the high of that bar ended up being 44.97. So at one point in time, you could have been up, you know, 12 or 1300 dollars. So it just depends on how you're managing your trade, but at least the opportunity to potentially make a thousand dollars on that move up. Now we're really extended at this point. It's kind of iffy taking the wick off the 18. You could have possibly taken that. That would have been good for another $300 to the upside. You had the bearish divergence, so you're for sure exiting on that uh, reversal bar right there. You may not have taken this trade at all because we were really extended on the 240-minute chart by that point. But, but either way, again, you had the potential to make at least $1,000 on the initial breakout. Could have picked up another $400 on this move higher. Again, all depending on how you're managing your trade. But you can see the importance of our pre-market analysis. That pre-market analysis was showing us that we had a pending 240 minute bull flag. We had 30 minute compression, but it was compression inside an uptrend. And when we broke out of compression, we were triggering the 240 minute bull flag, which puts us in confluence with our higher time frame charts. We get a Renko entry that we can manage. And we know that when we are in confluence with the 240 minute chart and the 30 minute chart, that we have the potential to catch these larger moves. Now, it doesn't always work out that way, but it happens more often when we're in confluence than when we are not. So again, it's reasonable to expect a larger move and we definitely got it. Again, potential to make at least $1,000. Again, all in how you manage your trade, where you take profit, profits, you know, but the potential was there. And if you're really aggressive, you had the Trender Pro 2.0 entry, could have grabbed a little more. I don't know, uh, personally probably would not have been trading that because we were so extended on the 240 minute chart. But all in all, 
Uh, nice trading crude, and it started with our pre-market analysis.